In this candy apple tutorial, I will show you how to make gender reveal candied apple slices. You need a cup, real lemon juice or squeezed lemon juice. You will still need your candy apple sticks. These are the wooden sticks that I am using today. A fruit cutter by Kitchen A, and of course your Granny Smith apples that are cleaned and dried. Take your fruit cutter and slice your apples. The best way to clean your apples is by clicking on the link right here at the top of your screen. Make sure you use lemon juice, baking soda, and salt to get the wax off. Insert the wooden stick in your apple and dip in your lemon juice. Place the sliced apple on your parchment paper. Repeat the process until you have dipped each and every one of your sliced apples inside the lemon juice. Now take a clean dry paper towel and dry down all of your apple slices and place in the freezer for about two to three hours. Once you have placed your apple slices in the freezer, you can go ahead and use your candy apple recipe. I started to use three, two, one, and I said, no, I'm going to mix colors. I need more candy apple mixture. So I use four cups of sugar, three cups of water, and one cup of corn syrup. So I use 431, and this is the butter vanilla that I always use. A teaspoon of that, that's Loran's butter vanilla. Place on the stove until it reaches 300 degrees. These are the gel food colorings that I use. Hobby Lobby Sky Blue. Hobby Lobby's Soft Pink. and Hobby Lobby's Bright White. My candy has reached 300 degrees. I'm gonna let it cool down some. Usually I dip while it's piping hot. So that's my white. I'm gonna add just a couple of drops of um, this pink, maybe one drop. I want it to be a really light color, a light pink. Let's see if we can get it there. Yeah, that's good. That's a soft pink color. Take your candy apple pot and tilt just like you do with candy apples. Rotate your candy apple slice. Use the edge of your pot to scrape off any extra candy and place it on parchment paper. Repeat the process until it's time to mix your blue gel food coloring in this pink candy apple mixture. This one is kind of messed up. The stick came out. So let's see if it bubbles. Oh, it didn't. Wow. So it didn't bubble. And I'm just going to scrape the side of it and place it down like I do regular candy apples. I can hear some of this juice popping in this candy apple mixture. I think and believe you should treat your candy apple slices like you do with your candy grapes because the apple is cut open. So this is a cut open fruit and the juices are releasing. And this is why you should treat your candy candy apples the same way you treat your candy grapes. And that's to place them in the refrigerator once you're done dipping all of your candy apple slices. 
Now let's get a more vibrant color going in here. Let's get a pretty blue for the boy gender reveal. Let's see if we can get a pretty blue color. This is a sky blue. I have one drop of that. I can roll with this blue for the candy apple slices. Right, let's get these dipped. Dipped. Dip, baby, dip. If you have any questions, make sure you leave your comment down below. So there's only a little candy left so this is what it looks like I mean pretty it's not bad and this is the bottom even with me scraping the bottom you still have that candy right there remember to treat these like candy grapes same with the blue and this is the back this is the part that I scraped the bottom on. If you have enjoyed this candy apple slice tutorial, make sure you stay tuned to watch my next candy apple tutorials coming up right here on Candy Apple TV. I'll see you in a few seconds over in my next video.